All right, ready to go. I think we'll need four wheel drive. One of our favorite eateries here in Carson City is Villa Basque. If you guys like Basque food, their chorizo is amazing. And I'm hungry. Let's go. I gotta get the Basque burrito with the gravy on it. It's the best. Basque burrito. No, I couldn't finish it. These burritos are massive, and I usually have a pretty big appetite, but not big enough to finish it. The gravy is awesome, here. Mm. Yeah, it's really icy out. It's just this uh, snow upon snow, and warming up just enough that it melts and then freezes overnight. Makes the roads pretty slick. Fortunately, we're in a Jeep. So we're pretty lucky here in Northern Nevada, unlike some of you guys back east or in Colorado where they use salt or mag chloride. Before a snowstorm, uh, they will spray a brine solution to help make it a little easier for the snow to melt. But once it starts coming down pretty hard, they actually spread like sand or volcanic ash across the snow. Um, and that seems to do a lot better to keep our cars in good shape and Jeeps. Laying down first tracks. So we've been driving around here in town and it's been snowy and icy. It's like in the 20s right now and ice has been building up. And actually I had a hard time opening up the door on the passenger side to let Tess out because it's, you can see it's all built up. So watch. There, I got it off. Look at all these like crusty waves of ice. I'll tell you though, these Coopers are totally hooking up. Just for fun, I've been sticking in two-wheel drive just to see if I can't make it go, and it's still going.
So that was a lot easier than I was expecting. The last time we tried doing this in the snow, we were still running all terrains and spinning tires like crazy. But with these Cooper STT Pros, they're totally hooking up. I had put it into low range, second gear, just in case I needed the extra tire spin and power, but it was clearly not needed. Let's hit the next one.